I vividly remember my first encounter uh, with today's topic, which was uh, a foundation that had some problems. Uh, you guys can still see me and can everyone see my screen? Give me a head nod, Jake. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. So here I was 22 years old on the job site early on my first, I don't know, two or three months of the job. And uh, I was working in the Washington DC suburbs. And at that time, every house was a full in ground foundation. Uh, we used panelized, uh, uh, our concrete guy had these eight foot panels with a brick stamping on these metal panels. Uh, so when he poured the foundation and pulled them, they looked like a brick, uh, kind of brick uh, facade foundation. And then shortly after he pulled those panels, really the next day, the foundation damp proofing company would come and they had this black tarry spray that they'd spray in the foundation and they smelled terrible. Uh, and then he would drape some Visqueen, some clear Visqueen over top of it. And then we'd backfill. Uh, and, oh, that's not true. We did have a sump, uh, a, a French drain to an interior sump pump. Uh, and, um, and we'd backfill with one load of crushed gravel, no filter fabric. Uh, and then we'd backfill with whatever dirt we had available. So our idea of waterproofing or my idea of waterproofing as a 22 year old was, oh, we we spray this black stuff and then we put plastic around the foundation. And I remember getting a homeowner question one time, like, well, what, what are we going to do to make sure my foundation doesn't leak? And I was thinking, God, where is my superintendent so he can explain this? I really have no idea what to say we're doing. I think that's exactly how I explained it. Well, you know, this guy's going to come in and he's going to spray this really smelly stuff on the outside. But the thing is, we're going to drape the house in plastic and that's really going to keep the water out of your basement.